Okay, I'm gonna do a wrist mom today. I've already started, I've already got the streamers done. I actually have three, three, <laughs> three to do. So I need to do the top and then do the wristlet and decorate and all that stuff. Let's see here. Hey, how are you, Connie? Just started. I'm gonna do a wrist mom. Three of them actually. I'll see how many I feel like doing today. Hold on. Still not got everything going right. Okay. So the colors are black, silver, and white. Hey Kay, how are you? But mostly black. So I think they're going to be really, really cool. And she wants sparkles and feathers and anything. She said anything. Be creative. Do whatever you want with them. This, she said, I just want my, the two sons, she's got twin boys, she wants their names on it, and that was all that mattered to her. Hey, how are you? I'm going to have to open this up in here on my phone, because I, <laughs> I have to get way over here to read the, the chats. I need the chats to be on this side of the computer. All right. Well, that's okay, Connie. So thank you guys so much for joining. All right, so again, these are the streamers I've already done. I already added uh, two little bells, a cowbell, and then this little round bell, and a football trinket, and a pretty little bow, and then all different streamers. And they're all just a little bit different. So I did a different bow on each one, and then there's a ribbon that's different, and then the, some of them are on opposite ends. So I just changed them up a little bit so they can kind of tell them apart and have their own, you know, a little bit of personality. But I did this wide glitter, and then I did, this is glitter, there's a gingham. They all got the number one, the footballs. Oh, thank you, Kay. Is that angelic? Am I saying that right? Thank you for joining. So this one got more of a buffalo check, but I, they still got the glitter and the footballs, the glitter, and of course the diamond mesh, and then this holographic and the number one. So I just changed them up slightly, but they all got the number one over here. I just kind of changed up like maybe where the football was and they didn't all get that same ribbon. And then on these solid ones is where I'm going to put the names at. I wanted to do that one first. So I'm just going to make some loops and I'm going to glue them onto this backer. Um, I need, do need to make a hole for the flower though. I'm going to use a three inch flower. Good. I don't want to mess up your name. <laughs> So I'm just going to make the hole right there. I'm going to guess that's in the center. I'm going to try to anyway. I should have done that ahead of time. But I'm just going to make a little X. These are little backers I make myself. I just make, oh, they're two, I think they're two inch, a little over two inch. And then I just cut two of the sides straight off instead of a complete circle because I think it's more natural for your wrist. <clears throat> I'm, gonna shake it. I'm shaking the whole thing out. So I'm just going to take this little screwdriver. Hopefully there's something glued right there. Eight, seven eighths inch acetate you know this acetate it's a new roll and it is really soft it's not as stiff um, 
So I used it in a braid the other day and it was really hard to get it to crease good. I don't know, I mean it's the same brand as the McGinley Mills. I don't know, sometimes they're just not as stiff, it's weird. So I cut two of these, two glitters, two glitters of that size, and the holographic. I'm going to start out with eight loops and see how that goes. And I'm using the acetate uh, inside of this, even though you can't see it, just to make it uh, make a better loop shape. So I'm going to go ahead and make all these loops, staple them, and then I'll start attaching them. to make the wristlet part, got to secure the flower, and I've got all this fun stuff that I might be able to use on the flower to decorate. There's leaves, there's little balls, swirlies, there's a star, there's just all kinds of different things. I was glad she told me to be creative so I could have some fun with it. Hi Rachel, how are you? What is Zedra? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I cut all these at four inches long. I'm sorry I didn't tell you that. I don't need them very big at all. Hey Allie, how are you? Zebra. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I still get asked for zebra prints every now and then. This one I just, I loved because it was um, black with metallic silver, so I knew it was perfect for this coloring, but I actually only used it on this one. So. Oh, are you? What kind of mums are you making today, Rachel? Yeah, this this one is a zebra. The black and silver is a zebra print. But it's only on this one. It's not on the other two. They got either black and white gingham or black and white buffalo check. So I want to give them all a little bit different personality. I can't get that one straight. going to do the 9 16 white on this one and then do the black glitter so it'll make it pop. I have some right here too. But I'm going to have to double it up so it doesn't look, see how it kind of makes it look grayish or silverish. Mostly small, thank goodness. This big one, <laughs> yeah, they do. I know I've done a lot of little ones this year. I did get um, an order for a double and another good size one, but most of them have been little. Oh, my goodness, y'all! Hold on. Hello, I'm live streaming. <laughs> That's okay. zebra I did get um, a request from one person for zebra 
that's why I didn't put it on all of them even though it's really pretty and I'm not using very much I thought if somebody hates zebra print I don't want them to be stuck with it oh yeah lots of bling that's a lot of work too that's a good idea with the zebra yeah I do have um, zebra prints and like the purple, purple and gold. That's good for tigers. Nope, oh, I forgot that. I'll glue the other one on there. Hold on just a second, let me tell my son something. Brian. Okay, so this thin one I'm just gonna glue on. Couldn't get the glue to come out. So as you can see, I didn't even try to get my GoPro going today. I just said, I'm just gonna do it on the computer. It worked last time. It is charged, but I didn't want to chance it. thing I hate about doing the, the loops like this is I can never tell like how where to put those bottom ones at so I just gotta kind of eyeball it I have a lot of zebra print too Connie by the way if I didn't say that but I haven't had anybody complain about not wanting it something like that maybe I like to move them around and kind of figure out where I want everything which there's my I want to make sure I leave enough room for the flower and some fun stuff on there I think I like it like that. I don't know. Can you guys see that very well? Here. I'm just going to glue them on. just a little bit see that's a bad thing I can't see like how far that one comes off so I kind of off-centered them I didn't do them all like north south east and west but they're still straight across from each other.
after I finish gluing, then I'm going to go uh, in with the stapler and add a few staples as well. I'm almost done with the, uh, what is it, the 16th, 17th, yeah, like the 16th, 17th homecomings. These are the last ones for that date. And I've already started on some of the 20, whatever the next one is. <laughs> 22, 24, something like that. Okay. Like this. How cute is that? Does this family not remove? Hey, I'm live streaming. <laughs> Do you want everybody to hear you? <laughs> okay. I just did a few staples. He's fixing to complain about how we are computer illiterate or tech illiterate. He's the one that has to figure everything out. I guess he thinks I sit in here and talk to myself while I'm um, I don't think I do. So these are the ones I cut off the bigger ones. And they're perfect size for the little ones. Just tying that knot in there. Sometimes it's hard to get that knot. probably do too. <laughs> but surely not this much. Okay, just gonna let that dry before I attach it. Well let's kind of see what it'll look like. Yay. Alright. Let me find that black and silver tinsel because that'll be perfect for this. Just have to cut off all those skulls like you guys suggested. If I can get to them. Uh, skulls. There's five of them in that little piece. Isn't that perfect though? <clears throat> All right. It's not a real full tinsel, so I tried to go a little big. Connie, you did good on your video. And yes, your microphone is really good. I know I need to get one. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit. Usually I staple these, but 
since it's so thick right there, I'm just gonna glue. I might add a couple of staples too. Be very careful. I've got little finger protectors, but of course I hardly ever wear them. So that adds a little bit more sparkle. Now I gotta find the hole. I covered it up with all the tinsel. There it is. Yeah, you can see it just a little bit around the flower. Like I said, it just adds a little bit more sparkle and something fun, and they wanted some fun, unique things. You're welcome. these out. That's all I've got left though is that one little piece. But I could cut. Again, I don't have to do them all the same. I'm going to need my good ones. Uh oh. Where are they? I wouldn't do the whole thing, but I can do like two or three of them. I like to take these little things, and you can cut them shorter, but glue them like this into the mum flower and make loops. Of course, that's too huge for that, but like a big mum, you would want to do it like that. But for the smaller ones, you could just cut them in half and then glue them in there. So I might do that on one of them and show you guys. There's also some black balls. Well, these are just like floral picks and I've just cut them down. See, they've got different leaves I could put in there. A couple of years ago, I used to really go crazy with this kind of stuff and just really add all kinds of unique stuff. I haven't been doing that as much. I don't know why. place to get in there. <laughs> Staple that down. Okay, I need to do the wristlet part too <clears throat> before I start really decorating it. I've got this wide ribbon or elastic that's white with silver glitter or sparkle. So I thought that would be good. But then I also have this black that's kind of shiny. I use this a lot in the on the finger mums or ring mums. Because it's really it's really flexible and soft. Some of these I gotta trim up a little bit. They're kinda roughly cut. And I tell you what's bad is when I attach the elastic wrong and then I go to attach it and I've got it on there different. That stinks. So the way it's made, those go like this so I have more movement. So my elastic needs to go like this, which means my elastic needs to go from the curve to the curve, and I always want to put the elastic on the flat ends. So i got to remember to do that. The only thing I worry about this is a little bit stiffer and harder to bend. 
so I'm just going to try one first and see how it turns out. A glue and staple. Make sure they don't come undone. And then I just kind of figure out how big to make it. Don't want it too tight or too big. And then I'm going to put felt too, so that's going to make it a little bit snugger. A snugger word. So I made that about about seven inches long. Of course, it'd be better if you knew how big the wrist was. Sucker's not coming off there. According to Wikipedia, oh my gosh, Alexa, seriously? American singer Diana Ross. Really? By what did I say to make it talk about Diana Ross? <laughs> hey, Alexa, stop. Not bad. I don't think it'll fall over. Now you've got to attach it correctly. That's the other big thing. That hot glue is steaming, you guys. Strings everywhere. Last table. I did get staples for my other stapler that I just got, but I haven't loaded it, tried loading it yet. Staple these where the elastic is too. But it's not always easy. I'm actually able to get under there a little bit. If you end up making it way too big, you can always like pinch that down a little bit and just glue like a little piece like that. I think that happened with a, I had one for a little girl or something and I had to make it a little bit smaller so I just like glued that down like that or you could sew it too. So you can add another backer. If you're worried about staples, oh, I got one sticking out too. You guys, I'm so sorry, I keep bumping that. But since I stapled it where the ends aren't sticking up, I should be fine to just use the felt. And I have that black felt, so I'll use that. I really like to have the mechanics part done before I start really decorating it. Because I don't want to have to turn it upside down and smash anything. 
So I'm just going to use this as a guide. And I want to cut it just a slightly bigger than the backer. Thank you, Kay. So just a little bit bigger. Doesn't have to be perfect. Make it a little big, that way it's covering up all the backers. It's okay to go over just a little bit. how it looks. I might have to cut it down a little more. But I hope that's perfect. See that's going to cover up all that mess. You won't be able to see any of it. It's going to blend in. The black is going to really make it camouflage. Oops. The best way to do it is go ahead and sit it on there. Fold over half of it. Glue that half down. Just a thin layer of glue. Smooth that down all around the edges and everything. Now you can do the other half. Instead of gluing and then trying to get it in place, which I learned the hard way. Okay, look at that. Now you can't see any of that mess. And if you need to make it smaller, you can also do more layers of felt. That helps make it smaller. I've had to do all that. So I'm, I may make them like different, slightly different sizes, like one of them kind of snug. I don't even know like what ages these are for or what, because um, I know that all her, all three of them are gonna have her twin boys' names on them. So I don't know if one's for her and her daughters or grandma and mom and aunt, I don't know. I have no idea. So I have no idea what ages they are, what sizes they are. Um, so it's just kind of a guessing game and that I'd rather go a little big than a little small. So I might make them all just slightly different in sizes. That way they can try them on. Maybe one will fit one better. I need to glue that down a little bit better. Okay, so I've already got their names cut out too, and I can't decide if I want to, you know, go down vertically or if I want to do them this way. Their name and number is what I'm putting on there. I don't know if you can tell, but on the back of the bow, I put another piece of bling because they're going to move around, and that way you can't see where I glued the Chanel stem and stuff, so that just covers that up. here. Kind of play around with it. I like these little leaves. See how fun that is. little pieces of uh, black feather boa here. And I can do like a swirl. I'm trying to think what else do I have? I could do a football. I mean I could still do another football trinket on it. I know she suggested feathers, so they must like feathers. Which you could even do a feather boa on the side of these. You can do whatever you want with these. Just 
kind of in the between the petals. Before I start gluing, I like to move stuff around and kind of see where I want it. So I'm just going to put some glue on both sides there between those petals and right where I cut that. Just kind of push it down a little bit so it stays in there. Thank you. I appreciate that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep them right there. So all I have to do is kind of pull that up and, and glue inside there where that end is in there and just leave it alone. You don't have to go sticking your fingers in there and burning yourself. Let's go ahead and just get it started. A little bit more. Leave it alone and then you can add some more after it sets a little bit. So if she wanted me to be creative, I think these are creative. Let me look at my trinkets and see what else I've got. I've got a few right here too. I could always do a little megaphone. Oh, she said mirror balls. She actually mentioned mirror balls. different sizes and then oh, if I have, actually I think I have three here oh, those are tied together yeah I have three sizes I didn't even realize that now you can get these at Christmas time in a six pack from Dollar Tree you can get red um, silver and gold I used to have some that were actually a Christmas ornament and they had the actual end like an ornament has and I would just glue that end like if I was gluing it into the flower I would use that in. So I'm not going to do the real big ones. If I can get those apart. Probably the middle, medium sized. Yep. Yeah. Always want to glue that down, but sometimes that's like that doesn't that side doesn't look as good. So try to find the best looking side. Glue it down like that. Oh, stop it, Kay. I'm sure it's really good. Oops, that thing is sliding out. Okay. Before I go putting anything else in there, I need to check all these. figure out exactly where I want to put it. It's more of a hole right there, so I think I'll put it there. Okay. 
I'm sure your work is beautiful. But that's why we watch, you know, other people. We can get inspiration and learn new tricks and stuff. I saw somebody on Pinterest the other day. I'm always looking at mums on Pinterest, and hers were really different. And I was like, ooh, I got really excited when I saw how different they were. Hold on, I'll tell you if I can find her again. I saved her stuff, some of her mom's, but. Or maybe I just followed her. Designing Lady LLC. But she's got some different looks to her mom's and I thought they were really unique. I don't know who it is or anything about her. Just when I see something different and fun, I, it gets me excited. It makes me want to come back in the craft room and start crafting again. I know this silver on white is not real easy to see. Oh, there's another little piece of feather. I hate when the hot glue sticks to the feathers. That's almost impossible to get off. I don't know if I can stick that little piece of feather in there or not. Tools, another fun thing. You can get like the of course you can get glitter, but the sequence tool is my favorite. I don't know if Michael still gets it, but they used to get some really pretty tool at Halloween. In all different colors. Let me look at my football stuff too. I'm going to see if there's one more thing I can put on that. Big. I got the brown. I've got all these little buttons as well. They work good. But I don't really want to. I have a few black things in here, but I'm not seeing anything. I've got these little footballs. That's not bad. That would be cute. I was kind of thinking, I was thinking something black, but I could do something. I've got the little foot brown footballs on here, so that way. Then I've got, which I already used those, so I really don't want to do those again. But then I've got the little mini helmets. It's like the little mini helmet. I could do both, actually. She bought, like, the highest, um wrist mum that I offer, I believe. Let me see. The, yeah, it's like blinged or custom, I can't remember. What I could do. Just a fun little variety of stuff on here. So you see, I don't really have an idea when I start these things. I just start adding stuff. Even this, though this is a small flower, I can still do quite a bit with it. Careful. I almost put too much glue on that and glued myself. So what does that? These are really heavy, so you have to be careful with them. They're from Hobby Lobby, um, the little miniature Christmas ornaments that they get. I don't know if they still, I'm going to say last year I had trouble finding them, so I don't know if they're stopping 
if stopped making them or not, but they had uh, basketballs and baseballs. I think that was it. There might have been one, th one more thing, but I don't remember. Hold those in place so they don't go anywhere. So I think that's a lot of sparkle, a lot of fun stuff. And I'll try to do each one a little differently up here. So again, they're a little bit unique. the names for one but <laughs> that was it I mean I'm kind of experimenting with what size and everything I need Let's see. I still have to put his name on there. I may have to go a little smaller, so. It's a guessing game on the size to cut these stickers because every font is different. So I can be doing um, two names on a mom and I can cut the stickers the same size uh, or the same height, then they'll come out completely different sizes. This is going to work. So I like using the white because I didn't use very much white, so the white stickers are really going to pop on here. Silver would have popped pretty good to like silver glitter. cute. Look at that. Oh, got covered up a little bit. So I think I'll do this one's number and name like slanting this way instead of having them both go the same direction. Again, uh, this is not like for a girlfriend and boyfriend. This is, uh, I'm going to have to do this the opposite. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm getting confused. This is twin boys that play, that just moved up to varsity. So, it's still for homecoming, but I think it's for the family members. I wasn't thinking if I'm going to slant them the other way, then I have to do the numbers going. I have to do the hashtag or number sign first and then the numbers. I did his a little bit bigger because his name is shorter. So hopefully it won't be too big. See what I'm saying?
when I go to cut out these names, sometimes I forget to cut them out multiple times. Like if I'm making the matching boys and girls and I'll just cut the names each one time and, and then I'll cut everything else twice and then I'll get mad. I'll realize that I forgot to, that both names need to go on both mums. Okay. So on the wrist mums, I don't, I just, um, two ribbon streamers with names or whatever they want, words, whatever they want on there, a name and the mascot or something because they'll get carried away and they don't realize how hard it is to find a spot a lot of times to put the name, so two is my max. I think that's really cute. Uh -oh. And I don't put very many trinkets, you know, hanging down or anything because that can get really in the way. That's actually the most trinkets I probably put on the flower. But since they're all mini, they all worked. Okay, so I got one down. Two more to go. I saw a commercial, I think it was a Talani commercial ice cream, and they were showing something about re recycling these, and I was like, do you, they not know how many of these I've recycled and used? Okay, so definitely need to do the buffalo check, and then all the same. I think I can do this one again. I actually have this one too that's black and silver that I can use on one of them. You have to hold these up like this when you're making them to really see how the ribbons lay and flow. Make sure that these are standing out if you're going to put stickers on them. the silver glitter and use that. Okay. Leave that there so I can look at it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna cut some more seven eight inch black. Just long. You could cut them at four inches long or three inches long, however big or small you want to make them. Again, she wants mostly black, so that's why I'm doing the black background. And let's see. I'm doubling up the white since I'm putting it on top of black.
I'm always losing my stapler. So just a simple loop there. Last one I did, I put the black glitter, but I think I'm going to do the black and silver on this one just to change it up a little bit. I'm going to give them all a little something different. It's not centered. Okay. It's just a black ribbon, like a soft satin with some metallic silver threads going through it. And that's from Michael's. Actually add a little bit of that too if I wanted to. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Just so it's in the moon too. Or on the streamers, I should say. There, that's perfect. I can never remember where to put that to get on the webcam there. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So I need some more of the holographic, probably. What's we doing here? Is it the silver glitter? Probably some silver glitter, or I could do the diamond mesh on one. Cutting it uh, too too wide. Oops, one more. Okay, so I need to go over there to cut the holographic. checks over here to open a new roll. Got some really cute ribbons at Dollar Tree, but they just don't last very long.
That other one has the black and white gingham, and I still have some of that, so I'll probably use that on the loops as well. Didn't use any tubing on that one. I might use tubing on one of these just to change it up. I skip one? <laughs> I guess I didn't count enough. Okay, I'm not sure if I want to put another color down or just this. I think I'll just, just do that. So I'm going to go ahead and make the loop first and then glue that on. I'm just going to glue like the first four or six there and then put it right there, right past the staple. Since it has that right here, and then I'll give it something. So those two loops will be, well, of course, this one's different too, but this one's the only same loop that I used on that one. So just little changes like that will give them their own unique personality. I need to make my little hole first for my flower, so I don't have to try and do that later. Just like I did the last one. I'm just kind of guessing where the center is. Okay, just need that little hole. The stand I have my computer on is not very stable. I'm sure you guys can tell. Push it back a little bit, maybe. Okay, so I off-centered her loop, so maybe I won't do that with this one. I don't know. Let's see. I wish they would stay where I put them. So you can kind of get an idea. I think I'll do that. The only thing I have trouble with, and I said this on the last one, is when I'm when I glue the loops on where I have the the um, streamers already attached, I have a hard time figuring out like how far each one needs to go off and stuff. Making sure that they're even on the backer is what I'm trying to say. Lucy, what do you see down there? What do you see, huh?
two but you can do more rows of loops and whatever you want to do you do little ribbon spikes instead of loops and loops and ribbon spikes whatever you want to do the reason why I didn't go down all the way is I wanted to leave a little room to be able to staple on these been having trouble with the stapler this week. He keeps trying to put out two staples at once and then one gets hung up. Okay, so just stapled around inside there too for extra security. probably do the same band on all of them. I can change that up, but I don't think I will. I think I'll make the mechanics all the same. Just a little bit differences on the designs themselves. So I always get asked where I buy my mom supplies. And I have done videos on that before, but the last two big orders were from American Balloon, and then I also get stuff from Amazon, and that's the only two places I've been buying my mom supplies. So if I need to order a bunch of stuff, I prefer to order it like from American Balloon, because you have to order a lot to get free sh <coughs> shipping. But the prices are really good on the products, but um, Amazon, you know, will have free shipping and the prices will be a little bit more, but if you only need to get a couple of things or something, it's better. Oh, I hate it too, Connie. Drives me nuts. <laughs> I feel like I'm running out of staples like every few seconds too. The other day I was doing like ribbon streamers. I was just going through my orders and doing a whole bunch of ribbon streamers for like probably eight to ten orders straight. Just going ahead and doing those ribbon streamers. So I was stapling, 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 and I just kept running out of staples. It was driving me crazy. I used to buy some stuff from Monster Spirit and Sell Place, but I think they're high. And they don't offer, and I, it's too far away for me to drive. I'm not driving over there. I know y'all have said that their prices are better in person, but online, I think they're high, and um, they don't offer free shipping unless they've changed that policy. And I found that American Balloon Company, what, the, around spring, summertime, and uh, was just really excited about their prices. There was another place, I think it was like L&M Wholesale or something that used to sell. And they had really good prices on like trinkets. And they had a whole bunch of trinkets. They had a variety like trinkets that nobody else had. But I'm going to say, somebody told me last year that they were getting out of the homecoming mom supplies. Talking about Amazon, I had, I was desperate for some black 916ths. American Balloon has been out of it the last two times I ordered, and I just kept forgetting about it, and there was only one store on Amazon that was offering it, and it was like $22, $23. It was free shipping at least, but it was like twice the price you would have paid on American Balloons. It was ridiculous, but I needed it, so I had to buy it, which is why they had the price so high. Okay, this is going to be super cute. Now, 
No, I'm not. I'm not close over there. <clears throat> I know it's near Dallas. I can't remember where it's at, but I don't like going over there at all, unless I have to. I mean, it would be fun to go in there, but I'm not going to make a trip just to go there. All right, now I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, okay. So instead of tinsel behind this one, I'm thinking I will go ahead and just staple and glue the feathers kind of coming out. So the feathers don't look the same. And I have another feather bow I can use for the other one if I need to. And I can't find the hole. Okay. And maybe I should put it down here. The hole's up a little bit for my flower, so that's why I'm going to go down here instead. Connie, on your video, I was trying to look at all the stuff in the background. It's like, I see homecoming ribbons. <laughs> so, where's all her homecoming stuff? There, that's gonna be more dramatic on the on the feathers on this one. showed this before but do you guys see the new tubing they got at Dollar Tree it's not you don't get as much since it's uh, a different tubing but it's the like it's a little bit fuzzier or something I don't know what to call it let's see if you guys can tell the difference but it has like the tinsel pieces coming out like rough Oh, we got a whole bunch of that. I never go all the way down on these. I don't blame you. I would use those first too. And I like those beads you found that said, the green beads that said, go team. I don't think I've ever seen those. It's funny, if you just look around like these little stores like that, you can just find all kinds of unique things that you could use on your mums. Okay, so I'm making the spiral like I've done a million times, but I'm changing it up a little bit. I'm going to move this over like this. It's almost like another heart. It's like a swirl. Now I'm taking this and wrapping it around. Now you can move them back together a little bit, make more of a circle, or you can keep them spread out and kind of make like a, a heart. Like that. So whatever you think. And then you can put a little piece of bling there. I'm just folding that end around the tubing to keep it in place. So I haven't glued down the flower yet. Make sure that that's sticking out enough where you can see it. So I just want to make these all a little bit unique, give them something fun and a little different. Because again, she told me to be creative, so I'm going to be creative. Alright. Put a couple of staples in there and now some glue. I'm ready to glue that flower down. And 
than the others. Oops, I keep doing that. Hi, Alice. Oh yeah, I've seen uh, the lights that are in like the tubing. I haven't used them on a mum yet, but I think they'd be so much fun. Oh, thank you, Kay. Oh, I need to back up. I'm not. <laughs> yes, Alice, you finally caught me live. Oh, you're so welcome. Oh yeah, she. You guys. Uh, Connie and Kay might have some good tips for you. Uh, Alice is trying to do a half and half, right, Alice? A half and half mom with the dueling schools. And I thought I was going to get an order for one this year, but when I told her she would have to pay more for it, she, she decided she just wanted to do one braid and the, the different color the school. So it's a garter mom, but she wants her daughter's name on a braid in her school colors. It, but at first they were thinking half and half, but then they decided to go the other way. So I thought I was gonna be able to help Alice out, but. I don't know if any of y'all have done a mom like that before. always like to staple these down too. I usually staple it twice just to be sure. Oh, Alice, since you just joined us, here's the one I just finished. I'm doing three of them, not identical, but similar, giving them all their own little personality. the lights now and I think I have some we did buy some battery operated lights last year like at Christmas and stuff and I'm pretty sure I saw some of the tubing lights and I haven't ever done a video where I attach lights I don't think and I used to add lights to mums all the time and I just buy the the lights from Dollar Tree I just buy the the little battery operated. Hey TJ, how are you? Have you got that listing up yet? I haven't seen anything come through. All right, now I need to figure out how I want to decorate this one so it don't look just like that one. So when you have something like this that's too big, you can always like cut them in half too. Let's see if I wanted to do. And those are so pretty. I don't know if you can see how sparkly that is. It's metallic and sparkly. Alice, what color colors are you doing for those moms? Oh, let's see, that'll be fun. They told me to be creative, TJ, so I am being creative on this one. Just gonna hold that down in there so it sticks a little bit. Here I am decorating it after I told you guys I like to go ahead and do all the mechanics before. <laughs> I just get carried away sometimes. Okay. 
So again, I want to attach this on the rounded side. And I don't know what size to make them, so I'm going a little big just to be safe. I know those are the best. You need to. I have been turning people away like crazy on Etsy. I know it's hard to get them done though. Are you just doing um, like one size? Or are you going to offer different sizes at first? Damn it, I keep. Now. Yeah, it is a little stressful to be creative because it's like they're telling you to be creative and so then it puts the pressure on you to be creative. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. I hope she loves them. Which I showed her the streamers already, and she loved those, so. Yeah, it's not as loose as that one, so it's going to be just slightly smaller than that one. I don't want to make them all exactly the same size. Like, again, I don't know who they're being made for or anything. How old they are, or any of that stuff. I should have asked, I didn't. So it's not like a garter where you attach it across, you gotta attach it up and down. Yeah, I don't blame you. I'd start out with one size. See how it does, and then you can add. You can always add another one if you wanted to, or wait till next year. That one I'm not getting in there as easily as I did that other one. Hold on. Screw that up. Sometimes I can get under there. So I always want to staple where the elastic is too to make sure that's stapled down good. And so the backers are all closed up and there's no gaps in there. I hate that. Thank you. did get an order for a double thir with 30 inch streamers but it's like mid-October so it'll be a while before I work on that one and I kind of I figured out how to be organized with my orders it took me a while because you know you've got people that are ordering like rush order and then you got people that order way in advance and you don't want them to wait forever but so what I've done is I've grouped it off into the homecoming dates and then whoever ordered first during that homecoming date I put them on the top so they're first so and then you know I'm still going through in between and work and starting theirs and stuff but that's helping me keep organized and keep like the dates on time and stuff it took me a little while to get really organized on all that that and my listings and 
because I got really overwhelmed there for a while and stressed out and it wasn't fun. That doesn't make for fun mom making when you get stressed out and feel out of control. So my Dollar Tree felt again. It's gonna last me quite a while, which I have a whole container of felt. You know, like the felt sheets from Hobby Lobby, but I got this roll just to try it out from Dollar Tree. I think I said that on the last one. I'm gonna show you guys what I've, I, I mailed off or shipped off some stuff today, but I do have a couple other. I think I've got like three that are finished and one that's almost finished, so I'll show you guys those in a minute. So I did that too short. Okay. We got a little peewee garter that is super cute. I'm really proud of it. Nothing special about it. It's just super cute. I've got to show you guys our baby chicks sometime. They're not like baby babies. I think they only have like a week to go before they can go out into the coop, but they are so cute. So I try to match the felt with the color of the mum too, or just use white if everything's white back there. But I used red on one of them because it had red streamers, and I like the black with all the black because I think it really camouflages everything really well. And I love this black and silver. I did a big mum once. Uh, it's been a few years ago, but it was black and silver. Almost all black and silver, and it was so pretty. <laughs> oh, where's my nuggets? I still have some of my beaver nuggets. I should have got them on here and started eating them in front of you, PJ. There's actually a few left, not many. Oh, so cute. So she said mirror ball, so I'll definitely, or disco ball, whatever you want to call it, so I'll definitely do those on all of them. And I don't know, I may do the little mini ornaments on all of them and just kind of change up this fun stuff that's on all of them. So they're all a little different. Let me get, show you guys those mums that I finished up or working on, just to show you what's going on. I quit for a while because I'm tired. Ugh. Every time I bump the table, this thing bounces. So this is a four inch flower peewee garter. Kelly green, black, white, silver. These are those little bows I said that I like to use on the boys' mums because they're not real feminine. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that to you, TJ. And that's another one of those little sports balls I said I got from Hobby Lobby at Christmas time in the mini ornaments. And then I, he's in band and baseball, so I did the little rock on, and then I just did some silver stars to blend that in. And then I did the baseball bat and the, yeah, 
It doesn't look like you guys can see that. There. And then the twisted loops, but I did the twisted loops in the 7 8 inch, which really worked good with the 4 inch flower, I thought. And I doubled up all of them. I doubled up the whites whenever I used them with a darker color so they really pop. And then I used a different font for hers and his. I like to do that. I like to make the girls a little bit, you know, more feminine and there's like sporty or, you know, just like block or something. So, like I said, it's not anything special. I just think it turned out super, super cute. Thank you, Kay. And then I used, that's that black elastic. When I do like a four inch flower, I like to do, or smaller, I like to do the elastic. And I do two pieces, and I do one a little bit bigger than the other one, just in case one's too small or too tight, then they have one, the top one I always do a little bit bigger. But having two is also going to be a little bit more secure. Well, and I use that one with the, the elastic with the footballs on it quite a bit, but since it was green, black, and white, I thought the black looked good. Here's the wrist mum I did in the other live. Here it is finished. So she mailed me this little wooden oil derrick. Oh, I can't talk. And I spray painted it with not regular black spray paint, but it's the floral spray paint that I get at Michael's. Um, hold on. Design Master. So this you can use on silk flowers. This is how I paint like mum flowers. They, they get all different colors, but you can use it on any kind of crafting stuff or real flowers. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So after I did, I think I did two coats on both sides. I had to do both sides because you could see underneath it. And then I just took that, you know, that glitter spray that you get at Halloween to spray on your hair. So I always buy a few cans of that whenever they get it. And I just sprayed it a good coat and it's really, I don't know if you can see it, but it's really sparkly almost metallic looking on top of that black. And then I gave her a little cheer trinket. But I think it turned out super cute. And you see I did her name like this way, or I mean the school mascot, and then her name going down. And I did the crochet. So I think I had it all made on the live stream except for, you know, doing this stuff right here. And then a little bow too. Here's a hair bow. Now this was different. She's on some national or something roller skating team. I can't remember the exact words. Oh. So I found the silhouette and I was able to cut it out on a sticker and then this. I think I got both of those off Canva. Thank you, TJ. Yes, Design Master at Michael's. I don't know if they still do the coupons, but I would always uh, buy it with the coupon because it's like $10 a can. <laughs> Where am I? I'm in Northeast Texas. Yeah, they get all different colors. So it's back there you know, where they have all the different spray paints and stuff, but Design Master, and just look on there, and it's the one that said, you know, that you can use on artificial or real flowers, so remember that, and you can use it on any of the, I've painted trinkets with it before, too. So I got, um, at my wholesaler a few years ago, I got a bunch of the gold, the big gold megaphones, not, not big, but you know, like the three inch ones, but at the time, I wasn't hardly ever using gold trinkets and I got a whole bunch of them so I used that black paint and the orange I had orange at the time and I spray painted some of them orange and some of them black and they turned out so good so any of those trinkets that are like solid like that that don't have writing or anything on them you can use that
Oh, that is so sweet, Alice. Thank you. So I'm doing a ring mum too for another girl for her, but they're, they're, they go to different schools, so their homecomings are different dates, but she's on the roller skating team too, so I'm doing, um, and then she got the, she got the custom ring mum, so that comes with a custom cutout, so I'm doing the little roller skate custom cutout, so maybe I'll do a video on that, and then I just gave her, and she, she got, uh, extra trinkets, so usually I just do, like, a couple of bells and then like a star or something so she got another star trinket and the champs and then several stickers she loved it though so i was happy and then i doubled up the ribbons because it's burgundy and navy and i was trying to decide which color and i thought why don't i just do both it'll be easier There's another, this one's a mini, blinged, four inch. I've got something right up on the middle of my screen here. Okay. So drill team. I did, uh, I've already made it, but I haven't got it attached. A little drill team. The girl silhouette. And then I did all the little fun spirals. Actually, I did the same one that I did on that wrist mum that I showed you guys just a little while ago. I did that same technique with the tubing. I don't know if you can tell. So I'll go back and put like bling on those little swirls on each one of them. And then I did this fun. I love this braid. I think it's so much fun. And on inside, on the inside there, I did the holographic. So you get like two in one. The red glitter, a little strand of, and she did the rope necklace. So I just got to finish that off, do her stickers and stuff. Uh, probably Mount Vernon. I'm trying to think. I've heard of Silver Springs, but I can't be sure. I'm not from here, so some of these places I don't really know for sure where they are. Um, we're probably halfway between Longview and Shreveport, that, if that tells you anything. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know where Mount Plus, I mean, I, I can't like pinpoint it exactly, but I know, I think we've driven through there before. And the rest are just like at the streamer stage. But this one. And I attached, you know, if they wanted pin on her necklace, I went ahead and attached that too. And then I wrote the child's name on each backer so I remembered who it was for. But this one's navy and red. And I was trying to decide where to, you know, I was going to do like I normally do and just do like red, blue, and white, you know, variety. And then I thought, why don't I just put the navy on one side and the red on one side and white in the middle. And so that's how that turned out. And then when I do the braids, I'm thinking, you know, if I do like a red and white braid, I can put it over here. And if I do a navy and white braid, I can do it over here. It'd be fun. And it'll really make them pop. And then I can do navy and red in the middle. Oh, thank you, Kay. I know that red braid is so pretty. But, so this is a mid, a mid length. I got a I've sold a bunch of mid length this year too. They, they were really popular last year and equally popular this year. Because they still get quite a few stuff. You know, they get lots of layers, and they they get usually three braids, sometimes four. It just depends on the look. And, but, you know, they get a little bit bigger mom, but it's not overwhelming or anything. A lot of people really like this size. 
It doesn't take forever to make one. And then I did, I did that with red. I decided again to do both colors. Why not? And this one's a senior too. I've got a ton of seniors this year, which is disappointing because they won't come back next year. But <laughs> but it's always fun doing senior moms. I shipped off a mini mum with a five inch flower today that was burgundy gold and white and it turned out really really pretty uh, and I shipped off stuff the day before it's been really quiet on Etsy though the last couple of days it's been nice but for a while it was crazy I'm trying to see if I can pull up the picture of that mum So I did the three ribbon spirit chain and I did a video on the three ribbon spirit chain where you make the regular spirit chain and then you weave the third ribbon in afterwards. Um, but I'm having trouble getting it to upload to the cloud so we'll see. I may have to do one in a live. But I did her school logo on the custom cutout because it was a simple logo. And then I used that gold sparkling ribbon. It turned oh, it's turned out so pretty. And there's a longhorn, so I did a little longhorn on her megaphone, and she does softball too. So there's a little bit of softball stuff. And see her name. I did. I'm trying to do like all different fonts for their names. It does take a lot more time. I do spend a lot more time on the computer, but I think it just makes them really stand out and pop. There's a little video. I've been trying to take videos of all the finished mums and then I'm going to put them on Pinterest, but I like to wait till after they've actually received them, maybe till after their homecoming. That way I'm not, you know, I don't want to take the chance that somebody sees it before. I mean, that would be a slim chance, but it could happen and I wouldn't want to do that, especially if the mum was a surprise, you know, a surprise. Yay, Connie! You're saving your ribbons full. I love it. <laughs> I have hardly had to cut any out, like just like the very end ones. I, I know. I love all those fonts. You know, I got on, since I have the MacBook now, I got on Canva. I used to do the Over app on here, and I still sometimes do, but like I get on Canva now, the free one, and they still have hundreds of fonts, but I can spend way too much time like find, trying to find the perfect font for somebody. But there is one that's a sports something. It's it's called sports is the first word. And so that works really good for like the mascot or the school or for the boy's name, you know, especially for the garter. So I've been using that one a lot for the boys or something that's just like more blocky. But the girls, I spent way too much time. And I don't remember what the font names are. So, you know, be like, oh, I want to use that same one I used on Skylar's, but then it takes me forever to find it because I can't remember which one it was. I'll figure them out. It'll take me a while. Thank you, Connie. Yeah, I've got that, I've got that little mesh uh, laundry hamper over there that's got just empty ribbon spools in it. I have to take them all apart. And then I organize them into like big Ziploc bags, like the five inch ones, the four inch ones, that way. These are like my wrist mums. That way I can just grab those and it's really organized, but I gotta do it some more. And then I just cut out those thin paper plates from Dollar Tree when I need a really a solid one for the very back. Make a perfect circle. I cut them out like, you know, rough like and then put them in my machine to cut out a perfect circle. I think I have some, yeah. So like that, see how perfect that is? Just for that very last one to make it look nice and clean and pretty. Don't 
think I have anything else new. Oh. Show you what my husband got me. He got me the Bodabra. I've never used a bow maker before. So I'll have fun learning how to use that. Here I am shaking y'all again. But I'm excited to use it, not just for bows, but for um, making wreaths, and you know, when you make ruffles and spirals and you can stick that in there to hold it instead of trying to hold it and ruffle another one. Oh, you're so welcome. That's so sweet. so sweet thank you thank you guys for all joining in i appreciate it oh one more thing something else new i haven't tried them yet i think i talked about the glitter ones so i've used the regular permanent vinyl from dollar tree and it worked great this is some of the glitter so i haven't used it yet but i'm gonna try it and see. there's a black glitter and this one says permanent iridescent is all it says. But look at that. Look how fun that is. And red buffalo check. White and black buffalo check. Ah, look at that. A leopard print. I think that's all the different ones. So I am going to try those and let y'all know how they turn out. so sweet thank you so much I appreciate that I guess I've been on what this three years now so I know my videos have gotten better <laughs> I hope they have anyway oh, okay that's so sweet did you uh, I love to watch wreath making videos I like to make wreaths too but I really wish somebody would just do the mesh for me because I hate doing the mesh I like doing the creative part. So I think that's all the fun new stuff I got. I fix and order some more shelves. So, you know, I've been looking at shelves and stuff so I can go up a little bit higher and make room for all this stuff that I have. People favoring. That's what that noise is. It's either somebody messaging me on Etsy or favoring something. But I'm ready to take a break. I'm so glad you all joined in. Twirl bundles with zip ties. Oh, how fun. I've done that, you know, sometimes I just, it's easier to to attack you know get the mesh what do you want to say like you you said like get the ruffles made or the spirals made get them all attached in groupings I guess and then attach them to the wreath form a lot of times that is easier oh you make wreaths too I do wreath tutorials here and here and there too Oh good, you can tell us how it turned out. I'm telling you though, that, that permanent, regular, permanent one, I didn't have any trouble with it. I didn't have any trouble cutting it or weeding it or it didn't peel off or anything. So I think if I use some of the glitter on somebody's mom, I might make double of their names and stuff and send with it just in case, just, just in case. Glitter vinyl though, to me, is always a little bit harder to cut and weed no matter what brands. I've used some different brands. Okay, you have a nice weekend too. <laughs> yes, you do. Well, our Dollar Tree, we have one of the smaller Dollar Trees in our little town, and they started carrying some of this stuff. The, the Buffalo Check and the Leopard is what came from there, and I think the glitter came from a bigger one, but 
we're starting to get more stuff, so yeah. And I, we always check at all the different Dollar Trees because they all get different stuff. Oh, see, mine doesn't have settings like that. But that's a good tip for anybody um, that has a Cricut. Mine has the dial, you know, I have to just kind of guess on mine. Mine's old though, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen several people using like that bow maker with their wreaths, you know, and they make the ruffles or the spirals and stick it in. I'm like, oh, that's so much easier because I'm always like holding it between my fingers and then trying to make the next one and it's, it's difficult. But I'm gonna try to make some bows too. Just to see if I like them any better than having to measure them out and stuff. It may be easier. But I am going to take a break. I said that the last live, and it was like two hours later before I took a break. <laughs> but this time, I'm really going to do it. I have been mum making every day, morning till night. I'm not complaining. It's fun. And it only lasts for a little while. I bet, yeah, I bet it is easier for your hands. My hands cramp really easily now, so I don't know if that's an age thing or what, but my hands start cramping really easily when I'm trying to hold on to something. I like that that one doesn't take up very much room. Do you do any tutorials for your wreaths? If you do, I'll watch them. Bye, Connie. I know. I gotta take a break and then get some more work done. Well, I appreciate you, Connie. Thank you so much. Thank all of you. You guys have a good weekend. Oh, bye, Alice. Thank you. You enjoy your afternoon as well. Comment if you have any more questions about that mom. I'll try to help you through it. Even though I've never done them like that. I'll give you my best advice. This is an AdTech Pro 80, and it had a fine tip in it for a long time, and then it just pushed out. And I really loved the fine tip, but like I said, I was just gluing something one day, and the tip came out, and I was like, Phew. so now I don't like it as much. <laughs> I'd really like to get one of those really big battery operated, uh, what are they, like Roby, is that the name of them? Like they make all the like power drills and stuff. But you can get those off Amazon, but it's like $150. That's my dream glue gun. But I mean, it's a decent glue gun. I've not had any problems with it. I have a little mini ad tech over here too that's low temp. And it's lightweight, easy to use, so. I know, Miranda, thank you so much. I'm so glad you got to join in. I'm glad I didn't have any issues, but probably because I was on my tablet this time. Yeah, I know, aren't those awesome? I see other crafters using them. I'm like, oh, one of those. One day, it's on the list. You gotta have a list of stuff, you know, like your craft needs, and just slowly get them. Oh, does that work good for balloons? I try to plug it in when I know I'm going to be doing like little rhinestones and stuff because then I'm le less likely to burn myself with that, you know, or not as badly. As always, I enjoyed you guys joining in. I appreciate y'all so much. So have a good weekend, y'all. Um, I'll try to do alive again next week sometime at least one I'm trying to get a video out too I've been I did edit one for a little while so thank you guys so much again and be kind to others and happy mum making everybody thank you so much <laughs>